Round the world, round the world, round the world. Round the world, high five the band. Yeah. You should go bathroom dancing with me sometime. Yeah, bathroom it's dancing. Next level. Heather Dirksen, silent on the O. Yes. Welcome to the Brett Miller Voice Show. <laughs> Thank you. Happy to have you. Woo! Before I do anything, go follow her on Instagram and Twitter. I'll put those links below. She just got on Instagram like like 10 minutes ago. Do you have a favorite episode of Ninjago that you've acted in? I don't necessarily remember like the episode name or the episode number, mm -hmm. but um, I do like the one where uh, Skylar realizes she's on the wrong side of the coin with her father right. and that she needs to team up with the ninja and with Kai. Right. So, because um, she goes back and forth so much in that season and I just like when she finally like realizes, oh yeah, you're the good guys. Three words to describe what it's like to be a voice actor. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> joyful. <laughs> Childlike. Uh-huh, yeah. Laughter. Those are all kind of all the same. They're kind of the same. <laughs> yeah. Do you like Skylar better as a hero or villain? Hero. Okay. For sure, because I do play a lot of villains, so I liked the chance to play a hero. Did you ever want to be anything else when you were growing up? I wanted to be the singer in a rock band. Cool. But you, sing, my, you sing. I sing, yeah. but I would sing like backup vocals. My, my right. vocals aren't strong enough to lead any kind of band whatsoever. Right. So once I realized that, then I kind of fell into voice acting. Okay, so you, all, you but you've always had creative ideas for your jobs. Yeah. Favorite color? Blue. Like an aquamarine blue. Who do you know most in the cast of Ninjago? Kelly Metzger. She plays Nia. Well, they know that. <laughs> I don't need to explain it to you. No, no. These guys, no. But have you, how do you they know? They know things. How do you know Kelly the most? We just knew each other from theater land. And then when we got on Ninjago, when we'd have lunch breaks, we'd just go off together and be the girls. Got it. Having lunch. And now we're good friends. Okay, I'm not going to be offended. Mm. Okay, seriously. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But who is your favorite ninja? Let's, let's... <sighs> Just wipe the slate Let, clean as if you're not even here. Exactly. Okay. My favorite ninja... I'm going to go with Kai. Kai? Mm -hmm. Well, what, what makes Kai your favorite? I think it has to do with the... Um, the connection between him and Skylar. Right. So just, most of my scenes were with Vincent right. and or Kai. Yeah. So um, I feel like there's more of a rapport with him than any yeah. of the others. That makes sense. Yeah. Just Unfortunately, naturally. Zane's Romeo went somewhere else. Yeah. Otherwise, went into I metal, know metal territory. I know you would have changed your answer, but I would have used to play video games. I don't anymore. Do you have a favorite that you used to play? There was one, and it was um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was. Uh, a, a cat from outer space and he had to go through uh, this world and collect yarn balls and he had to avoid a whole bunch of aliens and not get killed. It started with an S. What was the name of it? You don't know. <laughs> Sucky cat? This is someone, this is like, they need to know. Yeah. Does Skylar actually like Kai? Skylar actually likes Kai, I believe. That's how I've played it and how I've read it into the script. Right. So you, we need to know this? This is They important. need to know. It's a need to know question. It's a need to know. Yeah. I believe Skylar actually likes Kai, but it's kind of like an unrequited, uh, I don't know. Yeah, like uh, Unrequited is a little bit too much of a big word. To that's a big word. Channel. What would Leia do? Because you play Princess Leia in uh, Lego series as well. Yes. What would Leia do if she met Skylar? Like, what would their relationship oh, be? Oh, I think Leia and Skylar would really get along and they'd, uh, they'd go and kick the butt of the evil guys all over the place. Who's your favorite of the two to play? It's hard because Leia, I'm emulating Carrie Fisher, who right. already exists and created the character, whereas Skylar, I created, right. in a way. Right, right, right. So it's really hard to pick. That's, that's a pretty, to be Princess Leia. I mean, for I mean, all the Star Wars nerds out there, that's pretty huge. Like, that must have been a cool phone call to get. Yeah, my child inside was just, like, squealing. And when you got the call for Ninjago, did you know how big the show was at the time? You know, I didn't. Um, and I actually didn't know that Skylar would be as integral to the show as she was. Right. Or 
not to the season, I guess. Um, so it was mostly going into session and, and just having a good time. Right. And then realizing as I was getting more and more scripts that Skylar was really yeah. ingrained in the, in the whole season. To be a part of this. Yeah. Yeah. Now I know like Ninjago's kind of a huge deal. Right. Right. So thank you. A lot of people are mad because Skylar ends up in the noodle shop, right? I got that final script. I read to the end and it's literally at the very end. They're like, do you want to join us on our journeys? And you're like, yes. And she says, no, I'll just run the noodle shop. And like nothing against the writers. I love the writers. I love, but that moment was just like, really? Like she's just going to sit and run the noodle shop. Yeah. She's got like the, arguably the best power of all because she can absorb powers. Yeah. So she's uh, arguably the strongest of anyone. Yeah. You heard of Kyler? Kyler? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, I like this. <laughs> do, you, do you ship it? I, yeah, I'll endorse that. Do I ship it? Yes. Oh, you've used this term before. You, you know that I've used this term before? Yeah, I think you used it with Kelly. But it's I don't not know. my term. What is it? It's the term of the new age of people, humans. Really? Yes, they what have these it? words. Guys, like, what is it? I'm not a it's new like, person. It's like... Uh, do you ship it? Yeah, like, uh, you down with them as a couple, like the... Do you ship it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they always have to take two names and put them together. It's they ridiculous. Do. Kyler. Yeah, I ship it. Sh cool. I'm totally gonna use that now. <laughs> now, I don't talk about the movie a lot, because obviously we're not in it, but... No. But the character Skyler, should it she have been in the movie? I'm fine that she wasn't in it, because then I wouldn't have to listen to somebody else voicing ah! Skyler. Ah! Ah! Uh, let's rephrase the question. If me and Vincent and Michael and Kirby and Paul and Kelly yeah. were in the movie and it got all this attention and we were on red carpets and all that and you were sitting at home. Yeah, that would be sad. There's a debate in the community. Um, do, you, do you see Skylar as yellow or orange? Orange, but I have the little you're, person. You were so like solid on your answer. Orange, because it says the orange ninja like in the title, you know, and also I think she's pretty orange. Maybe she's you're just a, a combo. You're a orange. I was just going to say. Do you ship it? <laughs> I ship it. Yorange. <laughs> Skylar, the orange ninja. <laughs> Who's in love with herself? <laughs>